Hi everybody and welcome to Penfinity. My name is Wesley Vanitu and in this quick overview I'm going to show you one of the most powerful tools you can find in GIMP and it is the Paint Dynamic Editor. So let me show you how to access uh, to this panel. So you're going to have access here with, uh, in the Dynamics by clicking on this button and the Paint Dynamic Editor will help you. So this is uh, where you're going to be able to control uh, the behavior of your brush. And uh, I, I found it really, really powerful because um, you can uh, cross option to select how, how the brush is going to work. So for example, here, I choose the opacity to interact with the pressure and I can choose velocity, direction, etc. And by choosing multiple options, uh, you, you will be able to create a really nice customized uh, brush allows you to do your retouching or uh, painting if, if you are a painter. So let me show you um, how can I, uh, can I interact with these two options. For that, I need to go to the mapping matrix and select the first one, opacity. And you will have this curve and this is where you're going to be able to, to man manipulate the curve to to make the, the brush behave the way you want. So let me show you that. I create a new, a new layer with 50% gray in it. And for now, um, I'm going to work on, on the on the opacity and for now the curve is uh, linear so when, when I'm going to press like this let me change it's going to go like this you can have a, a smoother result by uh, putting a control point to make it more exponential so if I press like this as you can see the transition is going to be much better and uh, as I said, this is where the, the magic will happen because um, something I realized when I do my, my, uh, my, my retouching and my, uh, uh, for my illustration, uh, often I have to manipulate the, the opacity here when I want to, uh, the brush to go, to go lighter or, or da darker. So I start studying the paint dynamic editor and you can, um, put some control point to be able to when you uh, you are for example at have the have the pressure to have a really light value and after that go uh, on 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 really dark one so let me show you that quickly so for example i want in half pressure to be really light what i'm going to do let me reput that in gray so I want really light value to to light the 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 rim really quickly, and after that go uh, in tiny details with uh, with the hard pressure. So for that, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put a control point here, for example. Let me manipulate that a little bit like this. Let me put another one here, for example. So when I have this in half pressure, I'm going to go exponential with a really light value. So as you can see, you're barely going to see it. And I can press confidently without having to go to, to hard value. You see, and if I press a little harder like this, you see, I'm going to be able to go in really, really strong value. So what it will allow me to do, it will allow me, for example, to to uh, put a, a brush stroke like this. And after that, I can reshape the light really, uh, really lightly, you know, because by doing it with the traditional, uh, with the linear, let me show you, the linear like this, it was too strong. I have to lower the opacity to be able to have a, a, a finer control. And uh, it's, it's tons of back and forth. It, it wasn't uh, efficient for me. So let me reput the setting 
as I made it previously. So let me show you that in action. Oops. Okay. I'm going to put the layer in soft lights. So I'm going to go do a non-destructive dodge and burn. So now I'm going to select a bigger brush. And for example, I'm going to light really quickly. So uh, uh, this method allows you to have uh, to see really fast uh, if your retouching is, is good or not. So you're going to be able to, to do quick lighting like this. Let me show you. As you can see, it's really light. And for example, if I want to, I want to, let me decrease the, I want a really hard highlight here. So I'm going to, wait a second, put it really dark like this, like this. And after that, I can reshape the lights. really softly you know you see and i don't have to to worry about uh pressing the stylus too hard because i i locked in a low value uh in um during the half pressure you see and i can continue like that for example if i want uh let me put a hard hedge here, for example. I'll put a hard hedge like this. And after that, I can reshape it. You see? I'm going to press hard to eliminate what's too strong here. And as you can see, I can reshape it really fast and really quick. So this is the the power of of the Paint Dynamic Editor. It, uh, when you set up everything, uh, and and this is just one parameters. You can after that combine lots of them and go from hard to soft brush with the lower op opacity at the high pressure. You really have infinite possibilities of combination and it will allows you to only uh, enjoying the the uh, your stylus and and just um just do your, your retouching without having to do so much back and forth uh, uh on the option so on the next video on the next game video i will show you an example of of uh, this in action with uh, with the car pen i'm gonna retouch some highlight and you're gonna be able to to see it uh, really in action and uh, i will show you the the parameters all the parameters I, I will set up for that so i hope you enjoyed these quick tips and uh, see you soon on the next video bye